Hey there, my friends. I just wanted to show you a little bit of a project that I'm doing. Um, it is a, uh, it's a gasifier stove. So if you know anything about uh, gasifier stoves, it's a, essentially you can use any type of wood uh, to burn it and it burns it very efficiently. All the gas that is produced, uh, the smoke, so, uh, so to speak, uh, will be uh, burnt. And so that's like un unused fuel and that is just sort of going up in the air. So um, what I am doing is I'm actually going to make myself a gasifier stove um, out of a few things that I bought um, at a couple of the discount places. Um, yeah, Princess Auto here in Canada, uh, Princess Auto. And, um, and then I got a few little bits and pieces, but I'm gonna show you what, uh, what it is. It's gonna be a, a small version. So uh, I like to be, uh, have this as being kind of a portable stove that doesn't really get hot uh, on the outside and that burns uh, fuel, um, could be any type of, of wood, uh, found wood, twigs, anything uh, could be burnt in the stove. So this is what I'm gonna be doing. Um, and uh, I'll just kind of show you what I'm, what I'm using and then uh, just kind of take you through the process. I watched a couple YouTube videos and it looks pretty straightforward to me. I understand the science of it. So uh, yeah, so here we go. Okay, I'm uh, using a couple of things here. Um, as you notice, these are stainless steel, these pots that I picked up from uh, Princess Auto, as you can see. They're kind of like um, Princess Auto um, stainless steel. They do have this, this um, handle on it so they're both two sizes as you can see um, this is a lid that I picked up just uh, Canadian tire here it's a multi sized lid so it, it would uh, fit different sized pots um, so this here is actually a one foot this is a 12 inch in diameter stainless steel bucket and uh, and this here is pretty much it's a 12 point something um, inch um, outer ring so that's a 12 inch if you notice so that kind of fits on there nice and snug um, and it uh, doesn't really overhang it uh, at all like really just kind of goes on the edge and then this smaller one um, I can flip this upside down and this smaller one looks like it uh, fits in the uh, the first second third the third shelf let's just call it so that's the third shelf so I'm gonna have to actually uh, drill this out the second shelf is what I want to I get to and it just so happens on this pot lid um, Is the second shelf is uh, is this is this bottom shelf and this here is a glass piece I'm gonna have to take out um, and then this uh, obviously is gonna come with it So I'm gonna have to drill or I sorry, drill um, Well, maybe actually drill um, but anyways, I'm gonna have to cut around this and uh, and so cutting this uh, I'll use my trusty grinder um, got safety glasses on, so no worries here. Um, these guys here are the um, titanium coated step, um, the, the bit set, the step drill, drill bit set. So you can um, step it up to whichever size of hole you want. So this is a titanium coated, so they're good for stainless steel. Uh, I've got these at, oh, got these at Princess Auto as well. They're kind of cheap set, I don't know, that's like 20 or 30 bucks. Um, and, uh, and these are expansions. Uh, springs. So what they're going to do is they're going to help uh, by keeping everything down. So I'm going to drill a couple holes and I'm going to um, basically put this guy here into a hole on the bottom and I'm going to drill a couple holes for this on the top. Uh, so I got two of those and uh, this guy here, I didn't have one of these before, but this is a uh, automatic center punch. So this is going to start the holes. So when I draw, uh, or essentially when I, when I do the, all the, uh, the, the placement of these, I would just click on this and, um, theoretically <laughs> it'll just leave a small hole and that, uh, so that when I'm drilling in, uh, using these titan these titanium drill bits, which are good for stainless steel, um, that they won't wander around. So they're just going to go exactly in. So this would be like the pilot hole. And then after the pilot hole, then I'll I'll use these guys here to, to make the hole larger. And uh, if you don't know what, uh, with the gas fire, well, if you don't know what gas fire stoves are, just uh, just Google it. But essentially, I, I told you that in the, the intro. So there's gonna be on the outermost ring, the outer uh, container, there's gonna be holes on the bottom which will allow the, the air to come in, to be sucked in. So that's, uh, so they're gonna be around the bottom of this. And then on the inner ring, they're gonna be, sort of 
along this area, maybe an inch from the from the from the lip, and then we'll go around that and drill holes all the way around that. So what happens is the uh, the gas will actually get sucked underneath and then shoot out through those holes, and then they'll get they'll ignite as well. So the burning fuels or the burning. Um, uh, you know wood and such is going to be in here obviously and then I'm going to be drilling some holes on the bottom as well so I'm going to be drilling a bunch of a series of holes which will allow the, uh, the the air to essentially be sucked in from here go up through the uh, through the the, um, the fuel and then essentially burn and do that secondary burn so the secondary burn is going to be burning the gases coming out of here and you should see uh when it's all said and done you'll see the um the fire come out or the uh, the flames come out of each individual hole which will be really cool so anyways uh without further ado i'm going to take off this because i don't need this and i have to grind it off uh and then i think i'm going to keep this this handle on this uh it just allows uh, for easier portability. So I think I'm gonna keep that on, but we'll see. But I definitely have to take this off because it won't fit inside there. It won't fit inside there with, with this. So here we go. We're gonna take this off and then uh, and then I'll start marking the holes. This is uh, as uh, elegantly as I can uh, using my hand, uh, one hand on there, actually kind of hand and body on there. And they do have my safety glasses, no worries there. Um, I am just going to, I have it in the vice grip and I am just going to uh, grind it off. So that's the first one done. So we'll try, we'll do the other one and I'll come back and show you how it works. It's so funny. I uh, just smelled something burning and uh, I realized I had a nice good chunk of chaga out uh, in the in the line of, uh, of sparks. So it's really funny that uh, it actually lit, <laughs> you can see it lit this chaga up. And uh, yeah, so I mean, it this definitely takes a spark. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to bring this outside and I'm going to save it because it's obviously works. So this is a really kind of neat thing, a little bit of an explanation. Chaga is a good fire starter. So I am going to bring it outside and, uh, and uh, you know, dig it out and, uh, and try to prevent it from burning uh, fully. But anyways, it's kind of neat. The sparks did work. So I'm going to be placing it on, uh, on top of here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to save it for later. I tried to file all that out, but it uh, seems like the uh, the chaga, once it's kind of started, it just it just continues to go. So as you can see, this is kind of a, this is why way that, uh, that uh, First Nations people, we used to uh, transport our fire. So all you have to do is just put some uh, old man's beard or, or some, uh, some birch bark and uh, place that next to it and fan it and it'll start a fire. But anyways, this here is kind of a, a, a way that kind of slowly burn um, slowly transport a fire so we can bring it from from one place and we can go all the way to wherever and uh, and be able to transport a fire so since uh, I do have other pieces of chaga but I will uh, put this in my fire pit or my little fire and let it let it burn down um, and uh, yeah just let it do its thing because uh, that will just continue burning until it's uh, gone so anyways just a little bit of an update right as you can see they're both off that guy and that guy so let's just see how it, well it'll fit inside here yeah. see as you can see um it just goes kind of goes to the bottom but it doesn't give enough uh chance for the air to kind of flow through it so um that's why the lid this lid is going to suspend it and we're gonna kind of cinch it down so um we're gonna have to mark off these holes and i'll do that right now uh, with a sharpie and a, a block here I'm going to draw a line all the way around this uh, the bottom here and uh, the line then will be used to put the tape on and then we're going to measure how how long it is and uh, what increment that we're going to be placing these holes so um, without further ado I'm going to draw this line 
Okay, so. There's that line coming back. Okay, cool. So, we drew the line all the way around. Um, so that would be the, uh, then we're gonna find out the circumference of this, uh, and then uh, and then we'll figure out uh, what type of interval that we want to put all of the holes. So that's the next step. All right, we got the uh, painter's tape going all the way around this, and uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to measure it and figure out uh, what type of increments I want, and then mark them on there, put it on, and uh, yeah, and then start making the center punch. Uh, 29 and a half inches long. So we're gonna have to divide that by an equal amount. Uh, it's almost 30. Um, I guess if we were slightly um, working with 30, then if you divide that by, I don't know, we could do it an inch. We, uh, I don't know, having 30 holes. No, I don't think having 30 holes is a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do less and I'm gonna hope that it kind of breathes with that. So I think that uh, maybe not every inch, but maybe every two inches. So that would mean what, 15 holes. So I can, I can do one, a couple holes that are slightly together a little bit more than, you know, just make up that half inch. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try that. Every, every two inches, I'm gonna put a mark and then we'll go with that one. All right, so uh, we'll just look at the two inch mark and we'll just kind of place it down like, yeah, like here. Oh, Jesus, my God. I just got bit by a friggin' horsefly, I believe. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, we'll just kind of do the mark here. Two inches, four inches, six. Yeah, I'll just keep on going. Jesus, did that ever get me? My God, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, 12. All right, so now that I got it on here, um, I got 15 holes, obviously. 30 divided by two is 15. Anyhow, I don't need this anymore for now. And uh, so now I'm gonna be doing the center punches on these, on these on the line itself. And, uh, and yeah, um, I haven't really actually had a chance to use center punch at all, but I, I did notice and did see how they worked. But uh, yeah, so this here is a power fist, six inch automatic center punch. Uh, it looks like uh, for piercing or marking metal and other materials with an indentation for starting a drill. Very simple, straightforward. Tip size, six mil. Knurled grip for secure hold. So uh, that is the knurled grip for a secure hold. And uh, I guess when you, you're supposed to like, when you push on it, you push down hard. Oh, I don't want to do that on. I don't want to do this on the glass because it might actually crack the glass. So I'm not. I'm gonna do it on here. Okay. So that's it. So you just press down and it, it does it click. So I am gonna have to actually put a lot of pressure on this. So it seems like it's you know it's a bit it's a bit of pressure you need. So I'm gonna put it. I guess the bucket is secure as I can on something that it won't slip around and then I'll do these guys. So that maybe, maybe this is, uh, maybe it's okay to do it in my portable vice grips and uh, we'll see how that works. I'm gonna go down here. Okay, this is the first center punch. Oh my God. That is not, that, that, that is, that's pretty, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good uh, spring in there. And I didn't, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. So I'm going to just try it. Oh my God, this is, this is not easy. All right, so let's try this out. Oh, there we go. Okay. And there we go. Um, that's where the, oh, that's where the little center punch is. And it did make a little bit of an indent. It's hard to see but it's an indent nonetheless. So I'm just gonna keep on going around and, and do this. I'm not gonna show you, it's just kind of hard to do with one hand. So I'm gonna just do them all and then we'll go from there. Okay, well, they're all punched now and uh, I found it a little bit easier if I were to uh, place it down and then I just kind of hit my hand, which 
hits this, um, considering that I'm kind of gripping it between my thighs. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's, uh, so they're all 15 punched. And uh, and now we'll uh, get to uh, to making that pilot hole. Oh, look at that center punch. It really just, it made an indent uh, that was, that you could see basically around the stainless steel. So that's a, that's a really good one. Uh, even if it's from, um, you know, it's a cheap one. It still works quite well. Uh, yeah, so those all those indents are going to be the starters of uh, the holes. Start off with a uh, with a one eighth uh, drill bit, and uh, and that'll make a pilot hole. And then eventually I'll uh, work up to uh, making a larger hole with uh, one of these guys. I'm not too sure. Maybe make a nice big fat hole with uh, maybe go down to um, uh, let's see down to 11 sixteenths possibly 11 sixteenths which would be like the last this the third last step so that's a good size hole it's about the largest hole that in fact i might just drill it right through and then that would be like a three quarter inch hole so that actually might end up being a better thing so i just gonna drill it right through anyways gonna start on with this guy here i'm using a uh, trusty old sears craftsman um yeah drill and uh no uh you know yes it is a corded drill and uh, I just find them just uh, reliable and blah, blah, I do have, I do have cordless drills, but I'm uh, gonna use the old school, old school cord or corded drill to, to, to do this. And then I won't have to worry about changing batteries. So anyways, uh, on to the next step. And, uh, and yes, before I drill, I am going, I am wearing my safety glasses. So um, yeah, any little shards that might come up, if they should come up, well then uh, guess what? They're not getting me in my uh, in my uh, blue eyes because uh, that would suck. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we're gonna start doing this now. All right, well, I got them in my trusty uh, hairy vice grips. And uh, so I am going to uh, start. Uh, I'm better with my right hand, so I'm, oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna start drilling uh, again. Titanium coated bit uh, should be fine, and I'm doing this on my patio, so it's. Uh, anyways, so I'm gonna start off with this going down here, and uh, all right all right these are well <laughs> well anyways they're pretty much all identical uh except that one that kind of wandered on me but a couple of them did but anyways uh yeah they're pretty much all on the line so they're gonna be good breather holes so we're gonna work on doing that step drill bit set and we're gonna be uh getting the three quarter inch uh in there now and uh here we go uh, it just occurred to me that uh, I'm assuming that those pilot holes are going to work. Uh, I don't know because that's uh, that's pretty thick on the end, but I'm going to try it. And uh, I really just kind of want to go through the whole thing until I uh, basically pass that three quarter inch mark. So we're going to try it now and uh, see how we fare. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's try this. quarter inch yeah the colder quarter inch um we'll just uh keep on going around yeah okay man that is a lot of ease all right well actually you know what i can take i can take these off now that it's all drilled so i don't have to worry about a fire as you can see it, that really uh, scorches it.
sun. That's a nice thick hole right there. Uh, but yeah, so I, I'm gonna be uh, filing these down there. So even if they're kind of a little raggedy, I'm just gonna kind of like clean them up. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to get back to you once I finish all these holes. It is not gonna be easy. Uh, stainless steel is pretty hard. Uh, so I'm gonna go around it and uh, and hopefully these uh, these cheap this uh, this this cheap set of uh, drill bits uh, work out. Uh, I know I got them from um, what are they called? Grip. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna try them out, and uh, hopefully this bit will last, cause, <laughs> cause it's it's really uh, it's taking a toll. But anyways, I'm gonna try them all, uh, and uh, be back when they're all done. Oh my God, how not easy was was that? Uh, I have one more to go, but holy cow, they every single one of them put up a struggle. Um, and some of them are a little bit uh, gnarled up, but really, um, they're just breathing holes. Like, really, it doesn't have to be too pretty. But um, I, <clears throat> what I've decided to do, I decided to put my foot on on this, on the grass, and uh, <clears throat> and just grin and bear. Oh, by the way, this this always comes out because it's just, yeah, I don't know, it just comes out. on the bottom well we got all 15 holes drilled oh don't put anything down on that on the cord but anyways all 15 holes are drilled uh yeah they're not they're not uh perfect obviously they don't look fantastic but they're breathing holes like i said before so um you know it's going to be kind of like a portable version now um i did actually pick up a solo stove and a solo stone is like a solo stove uh fire i think it's called a fire pit solo stove ranger might be a ranger or fire pit anyways uh it has these things already done and this is is done professionally so i'm going to show you that solo stove later i haven't yet used it but uh i was thinking um this is uh, this could be one that i could uh i could make so that it it's my portable unit uh one that i can take all over put in the car and all that the other one's small but it's like freaking expensive uh and this is like not expensive because uh this this bucket was 15 bucks the other bucket was about the same price 15 bucks um and the holes uh cost well hardly anything other than maybe that which is i don't know it might still be usable um Anyways, uh, so it's fairly inexpensive. The pot lid was like 20 bucks. Um, the other stuff, I'm not really gonna count that up, like the drill bits and stuff, because I could use them for other things later. Anyways, uh, so all in all, uh, it's like 30, 40, 50 bucks. And the other, like solo stoves are like 400 bucks. Anyways, like that's Canadian, that's crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, so that solo stove's bigger than this. And uh, anyways, I'll show that to you later. Uh, it's pretty cool. I haven't, uh, haven't really gone, but you can see like the kind of the damage that it just rips right through that. And uh, all this stuff, uh, I could sand that down. I mean, I could file that down, but anyways, I don't think it's necessary because it's not really gonna see anything but air come in. But uh, yeah, this is uh, step one, com two complete. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go on to uh, marking the holes for the inner bucket. All right, the uh, inner bucket has um, this. I'm going to be having to drill a lot of smaller holes into this. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many, how many holes I'm going to be dr drilling, but it's going to be enough that it allows the uh, the air to be sucked through the bottom of the fuel or the, the twigs or um, small wood pieces. Um, so, yeah, and then 
on top here, I'm gonna have to drill a whole series of holes along the top here as well. And they're gonna have to be about this, uh, maybe about an inch away from the top lip. So that's, yeah, so that is next. And, uh, and I'm gonna basically do the same thing that I did on the bottom, but on the top. And so I'm gonna twi twist it around, do all that. I'm not gonna show you all that because honestly, you know, you just saw how I did that. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing here. Uh, I might show you how I do the bottom of this, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. And then next time you'll see this, you'll see a bunch of holes around this because it's the same process, but upside down. Anyways, there we go. I actually broke two of these drill bits. Just trying to make piled holes in this, in this metal. I don't get it. Anyways, I just broke two of them. So there's one, which was the, uh, the 764s. And then I got the other one is the 1 8th. Anyways, two of them broke. So I guess this is starting to cost a little bit more. Anyways, I'm just going to keep on trying with the other ones. And uh, yeah, they're titanium coated, but I don't know. They start smoking and then they're smoked. Anyways, uh, come back when uh, all those pile holes are done. Because uh, yeah, it shouldn't be that difficult really. Man, the stainless steel has broken four of them already. Holy cow. It's really hard to get through this. Anyways, uh, pilot holes. Yeah, titanium coat coating <laughs> works only so much. And then uh, heat takes over and then it just becomes brittle and it snaps. So, and I don't press, I'm not really pressing hard on it. But uh, as you can see, I'm kind of wearing through <laughs> my drill bits. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's the price of doing business, I guess. Okay, all of the pilot holes are drilled. Drilled? Yeah. Drilled? Drilled. Anyways, they're all drilled. And, uh, yeah. Uh, they're pretty even. Anyways, um, yeah. So, I guess I, <laughs> the first drill bit, or the first uh, step drill bit uh, is, pr I don't know. It might be done. So, I'm going to try that second one there, that second uh, largest one. And I am going to try that one. Um, and, uh, yeah, and see if I can't burn through this one, too. Through this uh, stainless steel. It's pretty strong. Well, here goes nothing. Ah, I know you're probably thinking, man, that's really close to his leg, but you know what? I was uh, born and raised in Northern Ontario, and uh, if that doesn't make us tougher, it makes us dumber. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try this here and see how this goes. I still got my glasses on, by the way. tough stuff it's like well it, it's a fairly like solid bucket so uh yeah i mean this is gonna take a little while i'm gonna go through the whole thing and it's really hard to do with one hand so i'm gonna do the whole thing and then i'll come back and they uh and they all then should be half inch in diameter these guys here um and i think it ooh, damn that's hot anyways uh yeah so <clears throat> so they're all uh, gonna be half inch and then uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, well, we could always size them up, but it's obviously, you can't size them down. So you can size them up. So I'm gonna try this and, uh, oh, I'm gonna do all these and get back to you when I'm done. Well, I uh, got all of the upper holes drilled and uh, they weren't as bad as the bigger holes for some reason, <gasps> but um, yeah, they're all drilled. I just have to, you know clean them up and what have you but again this is just uh just so that you you know you don't cut yourself but anyways uh yeah so now i'm going to be working on the uh the lid so now i've got this and that will go inside here and now the lid i have to cut around here and uh i think i think i'm gonna have to pop this uh this glass piece out so i'm gonna do that and uh yeah and start cutting and and then I'll, I guess I'll file it. So I'll, I'll uh, use use the uh, the grinder, and then I'll file it uh, down to to be. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. I'm gonna try something uh, a little fun here. I'm gonna take this this guy here because I don't need that glass. I'm gonna take this and see if it uh, 
yeah, if it's powerful enough to shatter this glass. Uh, again, still have the uh, still have the the glasses on there, the safety glasses. But uh, I'm curious to see what what happens here. Oh man, I I think I want to do this down <laughs> here. Anyways, let's try it. Wow, damn, that made a a little yeah. That's interesting. And it's scratched right in there. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, there we go. Smash. That's what I was expecting. So yeah, that does work quite well. I'm gonna have to clean this up. Obviously being as my patio, uh, yeah, I don't wanna step on that. So it's pretty contained. I'll vacuum it up. All right, uh, well, I was trying to figure out how to, uh, I was thinking maybe using the grinder on this, but uh, yeah, I think I might just want to use my uh, my jigsaw. So I got a jigsaw with a uh, with a steel a blade that's meant for, as you can see, steel. So I'm going to be using this on it, and uh, I got to drill uh, a hole for like a pilot hole, and then I'll uh, I'll jigsaw it around. So hopefully that'll work. Um, if not, I got if that doesn't work because it's you know, I dull it because of the thing, um, because of the um, the hardness of this. Uh, then I got some sweet Bosch. And then as you can see, I got one right here. And that is for, that is for metal. So hopefully, hopefully I don't have to dip into this because this was not cheap. But um, yeah, so we're gonna drill that hole and we're gonna see if we can, uh, we can go all the way around here with this guy. All right, so here's that pile of hole. I made the uh, tiny little mark, can't really see it, but anyways, it's down here. I, uh, so I'm gonna go from there and uh, see where it lays. Oh, that's a nice Anywho, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use this uh, this guy here, and I'm gonna go a little bit wider because obviously I've got to be able to fit that guy into it. So, yeah, well, here we go. Let's get that jigsaw out. Go, plunge it into that hole, and uh, here goes nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take out that center. This guy here, I don't know how it goes. And again, I don't think it's that deep, but just, just one last thing. Um, and I'll just kind of hold it down, and we'll see what we, we can do. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, I think going downwards is probably better. Either way. Uh, Okay, all right, I got my hearing protection on. Uh, yeah, cause this uh, rattles like a, like no one's business. So I'm gonna do this again. Great, just great. I thought it was in there. What the heck? All right, well, I'll have to put it back in. It's, it felt like it was in there, anyways. Ah, seated. I guess it wasn't fully seated. All right. Just... Oh, I unplugged it. I think. No. Kids don't 
don't try this at home. So when I when I'm done, you'll see the uh, the hole, I guess. Ah, little update. It takes a little while to get through this, but I do it like one inch at a time, and uh, yeah, go all the way around. So uh, yeah, you can see it's uh it's getting done. It's really sharp though, but uh, that'll be filed down. Anyhow, yeah. So half half done, half to go. that <laughs> that shook my hands oh my god my hands are so numb anyways that was uh yeah but there's a hole nice so that's the hole now i'm curious to see how this fits oh shoot it almost fits perfectly except those little those little nubs these little nubs here Look. Those are preventing it, but maybe, maybe we can make little uh, little holsters for them, just like little notches. Maybe like tiny little notches in this. Uh, that might actually work. Uh, yeah, but it's close. It's really close. Uh, yeah, I have to drill all those holes down there as well. So that's, but I think Either I chisel these off, whoops. Either I chisel these off or I make little n notches for them. Maybe I'll make notches. Yeah, I'll try notches. And uh, worst comes to worst, so I'll have to, I'll have to chisel them off. But uh, yeah, it'll prevent it from twisting anyways. So I'm gonna make those notches. Well, I just cut a little piece right here and I'm not gonna try to bend it by hand. That would be dumb. But uh, I'm gonna just take pliers and bend it. All right, so I'm just gonna bend them down. And well, I might have to take this off, but uh, I'm gonna kind of bend it up or what have you. Just like that. Bend it up. Like that. There we go. There is a notch. It looks pretty, uh, pretty decent. We'll see if it uh, works. Now I got to do one exactly straight across to this other side. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. It's bent. This is bent. So we should be able to put this the whole thing in. Let's see. There. And this goes over right here. have one in and the other one ah. well okay I'll uh, notch it further that's okay side will we'll go down like like that oh look at that fit so perfect wow okay I'm really happy with this I'm just gonna press it down further and that creates a beautiful seal look at that not even any no, there's a little sharp bit right there, but I can file that down. But pretty much, it's really nice. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, so I now got to drill all those holes. Oh, those holes. Oh, I thought it was done. I guess it's done. I guess I'm not. Anyways, bunch of holes down there. Yeah, these are these are real sharp. 
Oh, I'm not gonna mess with them because that's sharp. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't wanna like be grabbing for something and so I'm gonna file those down. But uh, anyways, for now, that's okay. I'm gonna make those holes. All right, how are we going to do this? Well, we wanna try to make them as equidescent as possible. Oh, if you wanna know what they are, uh, I guess you can tell Princess Auto it's 2470305. That's the part number or the product number. This is the barcode. Anyways, to this pot, the other one is uh, will be one number difference, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, so it looks, uh, we're gonna be doing holes on the bottom here. I'm not sure if we wanna do it around the rim or around here. Anyways, uh, we're gonna have to decide how many holes we will actually want in this. Um, I'm thinking like, you know, just kind of like doing, you know, four holes and then splitting them and see, and then maybe doing holes in between and seeing how well that ventilates. Maybe on the bottom here first. Uh, uh, no, maybe around here. So I'll make maybe one in the middle, uh, four, and then eight, you know, and then I'll just, I don't know, that's a lot of holes though. And this stuff, this stuff, uh, is not easy to drill through, but if the holes are not that big, I'm not gonna make them as, uh, as large. I'm gonna make them smaller because I could always obviously make them bigger. So I'm gonna just try them small and uh, see how well they they hold up uh, and how, how well it breathes essentially. So it'll be going from those and it'll be and, and sucking through here and then, yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's my next step is figuring out how many holes I need. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I pretty much eyeballed it. Tried to figure out what the, you know, did the, did this and then that. Uh, so I think that's pretty darn good considering that I didn't use a tape measure. Um, so I'm gonna just basically do it in the middle, 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 and then just work my way around and then to the center and see how many holes I come up with. So I'm gonna be starting those holes and then, yeah. And if I need to, I just put holes in between those other holes. But anyways. I'm gonna try this out. All right, well, here goes something. Is that Ford? Yeah, that's Ford. Huh. Interesting, okay. Oh my God, I'm freaking sore. But anyways, yeah, so these, this is about the size of holes maybe that I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, like I said, I can always open them. But uh, yeah, so there's gonna be some holes around here. But uh, yeah, they look pretty equidescent. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. But uh, anyways, so I'm gonna finish off the rest of the holes and yeah, then see, I guess I'll see how it breathes. Well, then I actually the sun is going down, so it might be a good uh, opportunity to uh, fire this bad boy up and uh, and not touch touch all the uh, the corners until uh, until I have one good burn in it and yeah see how it, how it works. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sore, but uh, yeah, look at all those holes. Look at them all. I'm not gonna touch them because they they were red hot just a moment ago. Anyways, yeah, so that's a lot of holes. I think it'll be enough. So, oh, <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna touch them, but I inadvertently did. But... All right, so let's try. Let's try that. See how that goes in, and uh, that goes in snugly, which is super nice. Uh, I'll try not to cut myself. This is not for kids. I'm not gonna have kids with like this at all. But uh, yeah, so this gear goes into that, and then this gear pushes into that. Uh, and I got those holes on the bottom, and I got the holes in there. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm starting to see the light. Um, and uh, here I'm just press it in. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And look at that. I can carry it places. <gasps> that's gonna be so cool. Carry it different places and throw stuff in it as long as once these things are taken down. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. It looks like enough breathing holes so we'll, we'll soon find out though um yeah let's uh, let's get some uh let's get some kindling into it 
Uh, let's go out here. Branches and all that. So, um, uh, and these are fairly dry, so I'm gonna just put them down here and uh, see how it works. Uh, I got a bunch of little tiny branches here. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, oh, you know what I have? I have some, last time I went hiking, I grabbed a bunch of um, uh, birch bark. So I'm gonna throw that in there and that should help. And uh, anyways, I'll be back. I'll put some birch bark in there and I'll, <laughs> because it uh, works too. Ah, there we go. We're gonna put some, uh, it's the first burn. Oh, here, I'm gonna put this down. Oh, shoot, here we go. Oh, first burn. Now, we're gonna, wow. That's, uh, that's going well so far. Just gonna throw a few twigs in there, a few, uh, a few branches, a couple more branches, and uh, yeah, see if we can maintain this. Okay, I'm gonna put this down, and and then we'll see if that gasification actually works in this home-built DIY. I'm gonna throw a little bit more of this in here. Okay, and you can just kind of throw things. Get some little coals down there. There you go. I got some dead uh, branches and stuff. I'm gonna collect and then I'm gonna put it on here and uh, yeah, see where it's come. See where what's what's going on with it. All right. Well. Uh, yeah, so I got some nice dry stuff in there, but, uh, really the proof in the pudding of the, the proof in the pudding will be when there's, uh, flames that start to come out of those little holes, which, oh my God, I start to see it. It's like, it's hard to see, but it's on the side there. It's hard to see it, but, uh, yeah, it's like burning and there should be very little smoke. That's the big thing about this is that there's very little smoke. So you can like, basically you shouldn't actually uh pile it oh you shouldn't really pile it too much past the uh <laughs> in fact you probably probably this is not the best way to do it but uh yeah that gasification is working see it's sucking it in from there and it is it is pulling it out of the of the little chamber and coming out so it is actually working <gasps> how cool is that diy solo stove yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's small enough to be able to bring anywhere. Um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just like chill and enjoy it. It's pretty cool. I have a bunch of wood here I can uh, I can throw in there. Um, but the wood shouldn't be too big. Uh, but it's a uh, it's essentially it it will take any size. Well, it, it's like an incinerator. It burns super hot. Like right now, this is pretty hot. I oh. Yeah, the, the phone is actually uh, getting really hot on the back. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go crazy and I'm gonna throw this. This here is, uh, this is old asparagus um, that, uh, that kinda um, through the winter that died. So I'm gonna throw this in here and you're gonna see some, some I think this will go up, whoa. Okay, so let's just see how this looks. Now that, that's sucking it in. Like I, can I feel? And it's, it, well, it's warm to the touch on the bottom, but uh, but it's not super hot. But uh, yeah, it it is gasifying. So it, it it I can see all the little holes around there, and it is it is coming out of the holes. So it and there's no smoke, literally no smoke. So that is super cool. Um, yeah, this is really neat. This is super super cool, and the fact that you can build this in a uh, in a day, pretty much. Uh, going through a few drill bits, um, but you can pretty much, whoa, you can pretty much build this um, DIY. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna not say anything, and you can just enjoy the fire. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because it's getting pretty hot. 
and take a look at all those little holes and what's coming out of those holes. It's flames, it's so cool. Look at that, that is super hot. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and you just, you can just watch it. Uh, but check this out. Um, I don't know if I can do it here, but I was able to do it with two hands. But you can basically lift this thing up. Look at this. It's not hot at all. So if I were to uh, here, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I need to do this. I'm gonna lift it up. And check this out. I'm lifting this up, and I'm walking with it. I'm putting it on. Look, I'm putting it on a uh, a glass table. It it is hot, like. You know, the thing is, is, is hot and obviously I'm not going to leave it on the glass table, but the fact that I can actually grab this and whoops, grab this and well, with two hands. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> this is Brad and, uh, yeah. And, uh, this is a, a DIY. I still got my safety glasses on cause like safety's first, but, uh, yeah, this is a DIY uh, gasifier or solo stove and uh, I'm pretty pretty stoked that it works so uh, with that I'm gonna sign off and uh, catch you guys later oh Bama Pete <laughs> which means till next time in Ojibwe or Anishinaabe Moin so I will say Bama Pete